Well, welcome back. We are sitting out here getting ready for dove season and figured we'd do a little video for you guys, run down what's kind of on our dove hunting checklist, what we need before the season, just some essentials before we got in the field. So I hope you guys are ready. It's only about 10 days away from season here in Nebraska and I'm sure you're ready. I'm ready to go. I see doves every morning. They are thick. They are ready to be killed. That answers that. So I'm going to let Kirby start off here for us and then we'll hop right into it. First, we got the obvious. They're pretty. You need this to kill doves. A gun, obviously. They're pretty. Um, we like to shoot 12 gauge. You can shoot a 20. Am I doing this right? Is this how you want me to do it? Yeah. All right. Um, you can get away with the 20. Pretty easy for doves. You know, they're tiny. It ain't hard to take them down. You think? Um, I have to do some editing in this. Are you good with the gun? I think he's good with the gun. We're good with the gun. Let's move on. Okay, right, we're moving on since he's struggling here. Next up, when you're out in the field, you really want something to sit on. So last year I invested, instead of just having a normal five gallon bucket, got the little foam seat. It's pretty nice. You need it. Way better than sitting on just an open bucket. But the bucket, a lot of other uses, that's what I use to carry everything into the field. Other than my gun, I have to carry that. It doesn't fit in there. Oh, it's a cat. Right. <laughs> Cat's in the background. If you hear some meowing, it's a old mouser. But we're going to jump inside what's in the bucket here. Pretty sure this little seat you can pick up for like 10 bucks too. So I'll let you jump off. Pick out something that you oh, like yeah. in there. I like my, my little Mojo Dove flickers here. Let's get them all. Yep. You might as well bring out the Mojo while you're at it. Even though it's it's seen its better days. You can get away from the flickers, not running the flickers, I meant. But you are going to need that thing right there. So, it's just your basic dove mojo. They're like, what, 30 bucks? You can get them at Walmart? Yeah, 30, yeah. 40. I just break them apart, throw them in the bucket. You can break it down just the wings, stand, mojo itself. Hopefully, this guy still works. He should. He, I didn't know there was water in the bottom of this bucket from last year and just opened it. Dude. Not looking good. Not looking good. Yeah, not looking good. He's seen better days. We might need a new one. But that's kind of your basics for decoys. Really, all you need is the mojo. You, literally, you just need one. Oh, we're missing batteries. That could be a yeah, first problem. So you can run the flickers if you want a little more flash. I don't really know if they do much, but I bought them, so I'm going to use them. Oh, he's good. We're kicking. We are officially good for this year with this one. I think we've gone through, like, four of those things in the last five years so we go through like a mojo a year it seems like they get shot up a decent amount yeah they do all right i'm gonna grab out something here well with the gun this my shell pouch that's what i keep my shells in which i don't think i've swapped these out to my dove shells I'm pretty sure i still got the old twos from duck season and yep. goose season in here migras or no these are stacked one threes that's from snow geese let me but, get her done son I like running a pouch of shells instead of having to deal with boxes out there, but it's whatever your preference is, really. I know you just run. I run boxes, and I run out of boxes every time I go dove hunting. That's another thing. Don't bring one box of shells when you're dove hunting because you're going to shoot a box and maybe get five. It depends on the guy. When I'm shooting, I'm going to get five doves through 25 shots, so bring more than one shell, more than one box of shells. You want to do yours? My game bucket? Yeah, that's a pretty one? important one. This, we'll let you get onto that. There's a little story to this bucket, actually. So, I was borrowing my buddy's bucket, and he said, do not lose this bucket, or you're going to pay me. You're going to get me a new bucket. I used it. Next day, I'm looking for the bucket. It's nowhere to be seen. So, I had to go get myself my own Cowboys Ball game washer. They think you run you 40 bucks. I think you get them on Amazon. Hold uh, that up a bit. You can't really see that in there. Go. There we go. Show the camera a bit what it looks like in there. So you're going to connect your hose right here. And it's just going to make like a little, it just rotates like a little tornado in there. Whirlpool. Oh, water. whirlpool. That's what I was looking for. And it's pretty much just going to spin, 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 and all the feathers and all the gunk and all that icky stuff is going to just wash right out. You just let it sit there five, ten minutes usually. 
and the water will start to get clear. That's how you know your game is clean, ready to be consumed. That's kind of your cleaning essentials. Yeah. You, do, you don't need a knife. Knife always helps. You can do it with just your bare hands, but it's we typically rough. use a knife. It's a little... Feels a little better. Yeah. <laughs> but last up... The, the bacon. This the is pretty important. Thing. I've had a lot of run-ins where I haven't had this in the past year and wish I would have. Pack of dude wipes or just toilet paper. I don't know how many times I've seen people not have it and it's been needed very bad, including myself, more than anyone probably. <laughs> but I'd say that's that's one that you don't need. But it's a very big want a lot of times. Definitely going to want it. You know, the breakfast burrito is going to go to the gas station before your hunt. You know, they're kicking in right right when shooting light hits in. You're going to need them suckers. Well, I got one more thing for you guys. Just realized I forgot to grab it. Going back to the gun, rem oil. It's very important to keep with you. Something to have lubricant for your gun. It's a lot of times we're out kind of in some sandy stuff too, and it can... You get a little bit in there, it might start jamming on you. Just having a little bit to kind of lube it up and help it cycle better. Pretty, yeah. pretty important thing to have. Just any sort of gun clean essential while you're out there. But that's all we got for you today. I don't know if you got anything else. That's about it. Ain't much to it. So that's all we got for you. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're ready for dove season. We hope you are. And stay tuned. There's going to be a lot coming on the channel. I'm sure we're going to be pumping out a bunch of dove videos. Gonna try. All right, that's gonna do it. Catch you in the next video.